Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the washers and bolts in your toilet tank. My toilet recently developed a small leak at the bolts connecting the tank to the bowl. So it's time to replace them and the washers that create the watertight seal. I ordered a universal tank bolt replacement kit online, and it came with two 3-inch flange bolts pre-fitted with cone-shaped washers, two wing nuts, two hex nuts, four rubber washers, and four metal washers. To install them, first shut off the water to your toilet by closing the valve of the line that feeds water into it. Then press and hold the flush lever or button on your toilet to drain the tank as much as possible. The tank should not refill since the water has been shut off. Place a towel under the water inlet for the tank and ready a catch bucket underneath. Then loosen and remove the hose connector for the toilet tank by turning it clockwise, catching any water that may drip out. Next, we'll remove the fill valve so that we can fully drain the tank. Remove the locking nut on the underside of the tank by turning it clockwise. Slowly lift the fill tube up and be ready to catch the remaining water in the tank as it runs out. You'll also need to unhook the fill tube from the fill pipe in the middle of the tank. When there's no more water coming out, you can remove the bucket and wipe up any spills. You may also want to use sponges or hand towels to soak up any residual water left in the tank. Using a screwdriver, loosen both bolts holding the tank to the bowl. You may find it easier to use the screwdriver to hold the bolt stationary while you unscrew the nut securing it from the bottom. Once you remove the nut and washer at the bottom, you can lift the old bolt out. You can see here that the red rubber washer is simply old and worn. The rubber is no longer flexible, which is why it's not creating a watertight seal. With the new set of bolts, one set of rubber and metal washers goes between the tank and bowl while the second set will be installed underneath and secured with the hex and wing nuts. To do this, we'll slide one set of the washers between the tank and bowl, with the rubber washer on top and metal one on the bottom. It's a little tricky to align them with the holes, but I used a flathead screwdriver to push them into place. Then from inside the bowl, insert the bolt with cone washer into the attachment holes and through the washers we just set in place on both sides of the tank. You can either install the hex nut now between the tank and bowl or install the second set of rubber and metal washers followed by the hex nut, which is what I've chosen to do. You can use a screwdriver to tighten the bolt from the top. Once secure, thread on the wing nuts and tighten until snug. By placing the wing nut up against the hex nut, this should help prevent it from loosening. Finger tight here should be sufficient for a leak-free seal, and be careful not to over tighten as this could damage the toilet. Next, reinstall the fill valve by placing it in the hole in the tank for the water inlet. You can take this opportunity to also replace your fill valve if desired. Then take the fill tube clip and slide it onto the fill pipe, making sure the fill tube faces down into the middle of the pipe. On the underside of the toilet, attach the locking nut by turning it counterclockwise until snug. Again, hand tightening is sufficient. Do not use any tools here, as over tightening may cause leaks and damage. Now reattach the water line connector by turning it counterclockwise on the inlet until snug. Then slowly open the water line valve. After the toilet tank is filled up, check for leaks. Mine looks nice and dry, so we're done. I hope you enjoyed this repair video. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put links to the parts that I used in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.